This video is brought to you with Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes internet security easily attainable and super simple. It encrypts all traffic to and from your devices, meaning the IP address is actually kept secret. On top of that, it also blocks ads, malware, phishing, and all the rest of it. All the nasties that you really don't want. I'm just gonna highlight a few more of the features, but there's gonna be an offer as well, so do stay tuned. This sounds right up your street. Now, many of you will know I'm not a tech guy, but I actually find it really, really easy to use. And one of the first benefits I've actually found, especially during the lockdown period, I'll put that on screen now, is that if a program is locked in your country, Country, you can actually use a Surfshark to get access to that programming on Netflix, for example. Really, really cool. And especially at the moment, we're spending more time streaming. That's actually been really, really helpful. Why is it important to be secure online then? What many people don't realize is we actually spend up to six to eight hours a day online. So that's a hell of a lot of personal information that we are banding around willy-nilly on the internet. It's really important that we actually try and keep that as secure as possible for obvious reasons. You exchange all sorts over the internet, a lot of which you don't even know about. This can be particularly pertinent when you're traveling, when you're connecting to random Wi-Fi spots all over the place. Data thieves can actually hack in and steal your personal data. Something else that you may not appreciate from a VPN service provider can actually speed up traffic. So ads use data. You can actually block those ads and therefore speed up your browser. And something else that many of you won't know, but the online businesses out there are actually sussing you out to see how affluent you are. It'll see where you're tuning in from, it'll see what device you're using, and all the rest of it. It'll be using personal data to see how much it can charge you. And that applies to kind of uh, flight websites, and that can apply to loads of different websites you never even thought did this to you. It's sneaky, but it's true. Using a VPN service provider actually means that those companies can't tell anything about you at all, so they can't try and rip you off. So if all this sounds like it's up your street, use the link below to get up to 83% off for signing up today. Get in the mix, that is a limited time offer, so do get involved and let me know how you get on with it and whether or not you save money and what programs you're accessing and all the rest of it. Give it a go, trial it, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Anyway, for now, Let's get on with the video. Hello, hello, welcome back to CG TV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very impromptu video in Milton Keynes. Some of you will recognize by the glass behind me where I am already, and we will ignore this for the time being. Anyway, without further ado then, we've got a very special guest on the channel, and today is very exciting because I am going to potentially, uh, how vicious with the clickbait am I gonna go on this one? Go really vicious. I mean, this, this, this is a job, not a hobby, so we're gonna go in with this title, do I think. It, it. Today I am buying a new car. Aggressive enough? Oh, it's Lenny, by the way. Hello Lenny. Hi, I forgot how YouTuber-y this, this was, because we've been speaking for about an hour, like on a personal level. I've just morphed, quite, haven't I? It's been quite nice, and then you've just suddenly morphed into a vlogger, vlogger, YouTuber. It's nice, I like it, professional. Very professional, Lenny. It's one thing I am on this channel, is professional. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go and take a look at some stock in Urban, but firstly, I've got, uh, there's a car that's caught my eye here, Lenny, we're gonna talk about this. You recently got an M2, did you not? I did, I've got an M2 competition. Competition, I forgot that bit. Do I look like I've lost weight? Because all my money has gone into fuel. Like, <laughs> my, like literally, I've got, I've got nothing left. Is it that bad? Come on, we'll, we'll, get the, we'll get the car in shot and you in shot as well. It's a very professional channel, so this is what we do. We'll frame this nicely. Lovely, look at that. I'm doing what I usually do and just sort of S sit on the bonnet the with... The difference is this is actually my car instead of standing next to someone else's car. Perfect. Perfect. The front quarter, Lenny. They go down well on Instagram. Um, BMW M2 competition from BMW Park Lane. Um, love it. Love it. Great car. Great car. Horrible car. Horrible. But I love it. Awful car. But it's great. Why is it awful? That's controversial because there are a lot of people out there watching this saying, that's my dream car, Lenny. Mate, How what, dare you talk about it like that? An incredible car, but absolutely useless for what I need it for, which is driving <laughs> 60 miles every day to and from work. Um, and it's doing about 24 miles a gallon, even sitting at 68 mile an hour, nice and sensible without putting my foot down. Horrendous. That but is cool. pretty bad. But. but a lot of people in the comments at this point just calling you an idiot for buying this car. Yeah, when you need, you, know you had a cruiser. What did you have before? I think, I think I had the G23 series 330i. It looked amazing it as well. It looked awesome, but it was so underpowered. And I, I think I got a little bit excited about getting my first proper M car. Didn't didn't think about the consequences of miles per gallon and, and everything else. But yeah. It, it's such a cool thing. I love it. I genuinely love it. But you know, it looks very nice. So we'll just we'll just stroll around the mods very quickly then. 
Not that you've modified it, obviously. Um, um, so there's a carbon splitter yeah, there. That's auto ID, carbon fiber splitter. Ah, auto ID. I've, I recognize them from good Becky's guys. video. Good Influencing works, you yes. see. Um, and then carbon on the side. Carbon on the side. Lovely stuff. This is from EAG, who are a local BMW specialist near me. Ah. Um, so it's a little bit of a mix and match, but both guys very, very good, very capable at BMW I, modifications. I need some carbon for my E93 M3, so. We're Empower friends. Yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. By the time this video's gone out, I will have hosted a uh, Empower meet on the road strap, Lenny. Really? What's, what's, yep. what's that? What's, see, I used to meet people in real life down South End and stuff, but I don't know what this road strap is. It's a very good way of meeting other people in the car on fraternity. Like Xbox or something? Or? It, it's on an app, Lenny. It's on the app store. You meet people on an app? That's Grindr or something, isn't it? What, what? Maybe for you, mate. Happily married, mate. I'm be very quick to throw oh, that one out. Oh, very oh, quick. Oh, Slightly suspicious. <laughs> uh, right, good. Anyway, should we go inside? Because yeah, this has descended really into nonsense. We've, we've got like, four minutes so out of this. Outside, now I'm going to Urban, now I'm professional. Yeah. So, no larking about. Lenny no. the Geezer out here, Lenny dot Urban in there. Okay, noted. So, all right, Lenny the Geezer. We'll take one last look at Lenny the Geezer. Uh, am I going to be able to click my fingers and you'll suddenly just somehow be in a suit? Is exactly that going to happen? That. I think we've got keys ready to go, to your, to your new car, sir. I'm excited. I'm very excited, Lenny. Let's go. Here we come then into the theatre of dreams. There are some cars here that I'm not allowed to show you. So we're gonna walk around. So just on my left here, there's plenty of stuff, as I say, that I can't get in the footage because they're customer cars. But Lenny, are you gonna talk us through this? This is interesting because I do actually want to get back in another G-Wagon yeah. and I'm faced with a choice. What's, what's good about these two is that we've got the two different variants of the modification that we do. Yep. So this is what we would call a soft kit. So soft kit. It's the OEM bumper and OEM arches, but we've yeah. just added to it. So it's got the urban splitter on the front, the yeah. carbon overriders here, you've got the bonnet with carbon vents, you've got the roof light bar, the rear spoiler, even the side steps have been um, blacked out. So nice. we wrapped them in satin black. Yeah, because they're chrome normally, aren't they? It looks a bit crap. Like, you know, obviously, the V8 has been de-chromed, we've done that in gloss black. But, so yeah. this is the, the basically the slimline version of the kit. But that. even that has made a massive impact, hasn't it? You know, it just looks absolutely awesome. Do you know what? Controversial. I think, for me, that's the right amount. Yeah. I love that. But I think for, that's... For people who want a little bit more, then we've got the full wide track uh, in. Which is more popular? Um, soft or, can I call that hard? Is that... about 50-50, if I'm honest. They really? They are about 50-50, yeah, because, you know, that's the, that's the best thing in there. I mean, you know, taste is subjective. You know, some people want something big and aggressive. So, this... It's full carbon fibre, so it's a full carbon fibre replacement bumper, carbon fibre arches, and this one's a special build as well because we've got satin carbon on here. This is all satin. The colour is uh, Designio Olive from Mercedes. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? I it's do really like that. 23 inch UV4 forged alloys, which is a collaboration with Boston. But even down here, even all this is carbon, side seals. I mean, it's an over-the-top car from stock. And then we've just... Made it even more over-the-top. Yeah. I mean, in terms of making a statement, there's probably not much more aggressive than you can do than that. You know, I, I, I absolutely love it. I, mean, I do like it with black wheels as well, and really nice touch as well. It wasn't probably immediately obvious. You've got green canopies in there as well. And these are obviously the Voss and yeah, collab wheels. The, I like that a lot. It's the road presence car, isn't it? You know, the, yeah. the, the SVR, the Urus, um, you know, the new Bentley Bentayga, but the G-Wagon is the one that takes up, you know, most presence on the road. I just absolutely love so it. So iconic, and you've got carbon, carbon <laughs> you've got carbon tips exhaust well. tips on there as well. Whatever you can get round there as well, but even the wheel cover is, is carbon as well. That's absolutely ridiculous, that's and super simple. The, the rear bumper is fully carbon. Carbon lip. This is all... But the whole, the whole bumper very scientific. is carbon. That's ludicrous. Right, money then. What, what does this run to then, roughly? I mean, obviously, every spec varies. Depending on spec, but um, something like this one will be 205. The soft kit between 175 and 180. So, when you compare that to some of our competitors, it actually is quite good value for money. So, uh, who am I allowed to talk about? Brabus? What would they charge for full fat? I believe theirs is between 250 and 300 for a. a You're white joking me. Kit. Yeah. Wow. But you know, look, we, we respect other modifiers, you know, they've been oh, of the course. Game, you know, they're, they're, a, you know, they're an absolute powerhouse. But, you know, we're, we're still, even seven years in, we're still the new kids on the block. I love this. Yeah. Look at that front profile there, I love that. 
This might have just been a very expensive trip, Lenny. Excellent. Look at your, I already know, look at your face. <laughs> so as cool as those two are, we're not actually here to see them today, although I may well be back. Okay. I may well be back. Okay. You've also got a black one here. Now, just being boring, this would be the one for me, Lenny. This, yeah. If I was to ring you up, Lenny, and say, do you know what, mate? I'll have a G-Wagon, I'll have a soft one. Yep. Is, that what, is that the terminology, soft one? Yeah. I'll have a soft one, mate. <laughs> yeah. Give me a soft G. That is what I'd go for, this spec. Yeah. Black, black, black. I know it's, it's incredibly boring, but that just works so well. So, uh, that in your rear view mirror. I mean, it looks awesome, doesn't it? That's so depending hell. on the Mercedes factory spec and what's in, um, in the actual car, you're looking between 175 and 180. Wow. That's just an iconic car as well. They're, they're just so cool. They are so cool. And I know, I know you guys get through quite a lot of these as well. They're a super popular car here. So, um, yeah. yeah, good work. Oh. Cheers, camera. Just bought a new camera, everyone. Not that you'd know it. This light bar, if I had one, would be on permanently. Absolutely permanently. It'd be plugged in downstairs in my car park and I'd just leave it on for everyone. <laughs> is that encouraged? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> is that for road use? Or are you allowed to no, blind people? absolutely not. It is, it, it's so good. You will literally light up like all of Knightsbridge with that. You're just encouraging me. Yeah, you're obnoxious, aren't you? You know how to sell stuff to me. The fact that you've told me that, that is not for use and it's actually borderline not right for the road. Yeah, yeah, stop, yeah, there you go. Sign <laughs> me up on the old finance boy. Right, here we go then. I am actually also tempted by a Eurus. This, I, I genuinely, I'm not joking. Within the next 12 months, I'll probably have another G and I will have bought a Eurus, so. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. That, that, means, that means I'll be able to eat anything other than baked beans for the rest of the month, just from you, perfect. Perfect. Uh, Eurus then, talk me through what you guys do with the Eurus because, so, this I, is obviously a, this can is I preface right? something, Lenny, very quickly? Yeah. Many of my avid followers will know that I was very abusive about the Eurus when it first came out. Yep. I called it the urine, okay, witty, right. you know, like wee wee. Right. Um, however, you guys have actually turned the Eurus into something that doesn't and, look know, it's, bad. It's amazing that the, you know, the subtlety, you know, subtle components that make a big impact. So mm. this is Nero Design. This is the sister company to Urban. Um, yes. You know, again, carbon fiber, in-house designs, um, British made carbon fiber. Carbon fiber rear diffuser, which is that rear. is the be all and end all. Yeah. The the one that comes on that car, I don't know who signed that off, but they were that was a they were in a rush. Job, that was quite an afternoon job. Yeah, that'll do. Sign it off. Okay. That'll do. What color is it? Doesn't match, but and nah, nah, they won't care. So, so odd, but that's why that that just looks so so good. But yeah, no, it's cool. Venture, uh, really cool. Been, and Nero has always been OEM plus. So if you were to look at that, yeah, you wouldn't think it was too gaudy and too over the top. It just looks right now. I and love the same that. As the roof as well. Carbon roof spoiler. Yes, 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 yes. And we've love got the that. carbon fiber extended arches. Now you can either have these in body color or exposed carbon fiber like this. Is it the same cost, or is it a little bit more to a have exposed carbon? Well, a little bit more to have them painted. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'd have carbon. Get the yeah. carbon out, boy. And you obviously got uh, Vossen collab wheels, are they? Boston Nero collab collaboration. 24s on a Eurus doesn't get much more aggressive, and obviously you've got those huge 390, 400 mil discs. Well, I don't know what they are. They're bloody big Massive. though, big yeah. old boys. And then the uh, the carbon splitter on the front as well. Oh, it's good. That. Do you know what? Again, I'd probably just have a black one. I'm getting boring in my old age. But can't really be black. I mean, I've always had black with black. All my cars are black with black, and as much as I like a little bit of colour, but. That's the good thing about wrapping though, I suppose, you buy one black with black and then you wrap it in a layery colour and then you can just strip the wrap off. Chrome wrap it twice, exactly. put an exhaust on it, exactly. say five things you hate and get rid of it. Yeah. I, know the, I know the formula, Lenny. You get your six, seven YouTube videos out of it, bore us all and, you know, cash. Squarespace it, off we go. Yeah. Good, right, perfect. I'm not here to see that either today. However, I am here to see a replacement for my Defender, Lenny. And I've got it's in the background. You, perfect, let's go. Here we go then, the new Defender, no less, and something that I may well be adding to my garage and replacing my Defender. You actually sold me the Defender that I have at the moment. I'm pointing at you rather accusatory. I, I, I did, and it was, it was the biggest... Um... Try and be nice. I always, did I, I always try talking you out of it, didn't I? If I remember, that must have been, what, about four years ago? I said, hello Lenny, this is the, just a, a breakdown conversation. I said, hello Lenny, can I have your Defender please? And you were like, come and see it. <laughs> I said, give me your sort code and account number and I'll send you a deposit. And you were like, I will not let you transfer money in until you've come you and seen it. You haven't even sat one, sat in one, have you? And, and people who know Defenders know they, they are horrible to drive. Yep. Awesome cars, horrible to drive. You're sort of in and you're like that and they're not very comfortable and they've got a yep. transit diesel engine. Yep. 
And they are horrendous. Have you driven one before? No. Come and see me. Will it? It went like that. Yep. But in the end, I eventually got a sort code and account member, transferred you two grand, and, and jobs are good. Yeah. I think I own that car out right now. I think the finance has lapsed on it, yeah, and I've actually paid it off. It's like a Rolex watch that's not going to go down in value. For the first time in my life. I think it's worth quite a lot more than what I actually paid you guys oh, yeah, for. We, yeah, we did, yeah we, we did you a deal on that. We did you a deal on that. But, no, I wasn't an aggressive car salesman, was I? I? You know, give me your money. I was like, Tommy. That comes up. As a friend, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Four years on, and you've... Uh, no, you're, actually, you're still actually very nice. Although you are forcing me into this. Lenny. Not forcing. No, Do you know what? This isn't crap, though. Cool. I'm gonna let's have a little walk around then and, so and just start, and discuss what you've done edition, with it. First edition, yep. Fender 110 in Gondwana Stone. Yes. Gondwana Stone, is that the name of the colour? Gondwana Stone. <laughs> cool though, isn't it? <laughs> <The> <laughs> what, thing, what, what, what's a line? For, <laughs> for some reason I can't take you seriously saying Gondwana Stone. I can just say it's brown, mate. Or it's Perfect. Like it's, it's crisps, early morning dump Dude. colour. <laughs> I love it. You know, I, I absolutely love it. I think it works so well with the car. It does. I, think, um, I suppose, is it, could we say bronze instead of brown? Yeah, I mean, it's better than an early morning dump colour, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so probably keep that off the sales so pitch. Do, do you want me to talk you through what we've done with this? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Talk Because you've obviously done a lot with the car. And, yeah. and this car was really controversial when it came out. People weren't sold on the looks. We've also got a Pangea green one over there. See, yeah. I do listen. Yeah, so I think that's cool as well. And these are the two slightly different variants of what we do as well. So, so I'm just putting this one quickly. This is the one for me, but I'm just putting this one quickly. Yeah, so this is you've Pangea done green and it's the wheel arches. On, on the Grand Rana Stone one, we've done all the arches and the body mouldings in gloss black. Um, I don't think people realise how much actually goes into that, stripping the car down and, and painting the arches, the body mouldings, and everything else. It's not just a case of putting wheels on or side steps. This takes a lot of work. Yes. On this one, we've, we've done them in body colour, yep. which I think looks amazing. It does look really the, good. With all the gloss black bits. This it, has been done in gloss black. Um, and that looks incredible. The, the, the roof light bar on the top with the contrast black roof. It does widen the car as well, having the arches in body yeah. colour. It, it gives it a little bit more presence, dare I say. Absolutely, Makes yeah. it a little less utilitarian. Yeah. 22 inch WX2 alloys. I do like those as well. With a all terrain tyre. They work. Um, our black shadow side steps. Yep. And then at the back there, we've got our rear spoiler. Over there, I can't be asked to go and look at them. <laughs> uh, and you've also got light bar as well. I'm, yeah. I'm getting into light bars, Lenny. I've one, th one takeaway from this trip is that I need a light bar on all of my cars. Light bar. <sighs> I'd be the first, to be Grand fair. GT, light bar. Light bar, I get it. Light bar everything. Light bar everything. My mum, light bar. Light bar. <laughs> Crisps, light bar. Twin brother, light bar. <laughs> Jay with a light bar. <laughs> and then obviously, yeah, so this one was done in, in gloss black instead. Breaks the yes. colour nicely. Yes. Roof rack up there for, for all my kind of um, all stuff. All the things that I have and I need to transport around on the roof of my cars. I'm always doing that. What else? Love box, on the to be fair, I'd happily shove crisps in there. You probably, <laughs> probably mash them in there, it'd be all right. So even, even, this yeah, be been, even this has been painted as well. They usually um, come in silver. Obviously, we've got our urban badge on there as Everything's well. Everything's very nicely done, Lenny. It's very nicely done, done here. That, but there's still more to come. We're still developing bits for this. So we're going to have vents and grills, and there are more bits coming. Obviously, there's still quite early doors on these, on these cars, but just those little features have made such a massive difference. We're going to have a little look inside here. It's very nice. This is a far cry from the interior of my current Defender. I mean, my current Defender's hell. I, do you know what? Truth be told, I don't know where it is. It's in a storage unit. I haven't seen it in, you know, six months or so. Right. I think it's with the classic car company. I store my cars with them. Okay. And they've, they've shoveled it out of London somewhere because they know I don't use it. I think the interesting thing about these is that I, I don't know whether your last generation Defender owner is going to like this i'm not sure yet i'm not sure i don't even think this is actually a really a replacement this is just a different car yeah this is this would be more likely to replace my vogue but, but genuinely i mean the first one that we built i did 400 miles in it in a weekend just to test everything make sure everything was okay and it genuinely drives like a range rover they're so good so if you want something that's a bit more rugged looking but you still need that comfort and luxury the new defender is is perfect for you. i do really really like them i love that all right we're at the deal desk one meter apart come on then I've got a really bad back, by the way, everyone. I've done L5, uh, and I've got a prolapsed disc, uh, and it's causing me serious agony. Lenny. Go on, anyway. What? Speaking of agony. <laughs> what, what's what, what's this? Co <laughs> computer says no, mate. <laughs> Have you even run it through, or you just don't want to do business with me? I can't be bothered anymore. 
Oh. I've done. You know, I've spent an hour and a half with you now, and, and the, the customer service levels are sort of they dip up. I'm just hoping that phone <laughs> rings anytime now. Go on, Frank, Tom. See you later. The bell. Um, key ring. I couldn't. Just if you give that to me, I'll leave. Is that is that what you're doing? Just take this and get out. Or you're going to charge me? In. Even that's calm. Well, how much is that defender? First and foremost, seventy-four nine hundred five. Okay. And to me, one hundred and ten. <laughs> Absolutely 74995. No discounts. Perfect. Good. But yeah, um, great to see you, mate. Yeah, really nice to see you. I'm in so much pain. I just want to preface, I was actually, I, I, I'm in Milton Keynes on a very top secret project, by the way, which I've told Lenny about. Mm. And I hopefully I'm going to be revealing something very soon. Interesting. So if you're in MK and you live around here, I'd move soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. It's a good project, Lenny. Yeah, I'll stop listening now. It's just, I'm looking at our new, nice new website. So have I, mate. So have I. Urban-automotive.co.uk <laughs> What, what? Oh, it's just an agony. <laughs> I'm going to have another pain uh, On that note, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do like any of urban stock, uh, do give Lenny a shout. And um, yeah, just don't don't be a tire kicker like me. I've wasted not only his time, but I've wasted all of your time as well. Because so many emails and, and people I'm not to get back to. Like, Mate, do you think I'm not busy? Do you think I've got time for this? Still says no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any <laughs> more declines on my record. Please keep away from my experience. Right, I'm going to a mortgage then. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, right, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, all jokes aside, it's, it's cool to catch up with Lenny. I haven't seen him in ages. And um, yeah, cool to see you guys still flying. Nice one, man. Uh, I appreciate it. British business flying on the other side of Corona. I'm going to hop. I had to go. Well, like, literally. Do you always get a couple of lads to carry you out? Yeah, it'd be very nice. Strapping young lads. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you later.